Mod Magazine is chatting to Vanessa Green, the Merchandise Director of Puma South Africa. Vanessa, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, and thanks for inviting me. We really appreciate the opportunity. That's an absolute pleasure. Now, Vanessa, just to give you some background to why we decided to interview somebody from Puma is because we at Game On Magazine understand that it's not just about the athletes. It's also about the things that happen in the background. And uh, a big thing that I've been thinking a lot about, having worked in sport for quite some time now, is what it takes to create the kits that, that, that the teams utilize on the sports field, on the training grounds, etc. So as supporters, the public gets to see incredible sets of kits worn by a magnitude of teams in a vast array of sporting codes. What goes into creating a new Puma strip? Um, basically, all the designs and inspirations come from our Puma International Design Team. That's where they all originate. But then, obviously, the input from our local uh, merchandising team is important. And then, finally, also the feedback from the team. So, it's actually a three. Everyone's involved in the creation and the development, but it's important that all three um, areas have, you know, the input and approval. So it is a it's a team effort, um, and as I said, originating from our Puma International Design Team. Well, I mean, what is the duration that this takes? How huh? if a team, let's say, for instance, brings out a new kit for next season, the 2018 season, when does yes. when does when does development when does discussion start to start creating the new kit for the next season? Um, basically, it, it, it isn't a short process. It takes a, quite a long time. We look at a minimum of nine months. To, from start of developing design to delivery to, to the team. Now, Vanessa, what does it cost to create a new Puma strip for the teams that use Puma as an apparel brand? Um, it's obviously, it's very difficult to give, you know, pinpoint a, a set number, but all our teams get the best level of product we have to offer from our latest designs, and more importantly, our technology. Um, this has obviously taken a lot of time and money um, uh, to to get together from an international perspective. So um, from a level of product perspective, we only give our local teams the best of the best. So they basically, the players' kit is on the same level as our international teams like Arsenal. And as I said, to give it an, a, an exact number is difficult because it depends on the individual team requirements and how many teams we are sponsoring, whether it's just the senior team or the, local, the junior teams are involved. But as far as the cost of putting it together, it is we give our teams the absolute best product that's available to us. And um, nine times out of ten, it's, it's actually important. So the, the, player kit, the player's kit is an important product. Now, Vanessa, Puma is obviously not the only sports brand out there that, that creates uh, kits for, for sporting teams. So how does Puma stay ahead in terms of innovation? Well, as I mentioned before, it's all, all, all the... The information is, is kind of linked. Uh, we have an international design and development team. Um, it's quite a big team. They also use outside companies to, um, to do all the research and the new technology and product. And this is all handled by international. So we rely on our international, our Puma International Design team to, to, to give us all the new technology. And as, as I said, that level of product, all the new technology goes into the players' kit every season. And as I said, it's become the norm for teams to release a new kit every season, which wasn't the case a decade ago. Why did the trend change, especially considering that many South Africans cannot afford to buy a new jersey every season? Well, as I mentioned, um, it is linked to technology, um, one thing, and also to fashion. So if you look at the side of technology, is if we are putting every every season, we have to give the players our best of product. So it, it, it involves, you know, it move on in the technology. So we have to give them our latest that's available to them. So what happens is the replica then links up with what the team is wearing. Um, what we do then is from the international product that the players wear, we then develop a, re a replica version of those shirts locally. So we produce them locally, and what we do is try and give them the, the best quality possible and the most effective cost, cost possible. We also have a lot of passionate supporters out there who look forward to the launch of a new design every season. And if you look at how it's changed, I mean, fashion has become so, it, it happens so much more quicker than it, it did in the past. So a lot of the replica business has become like a fashion business. So you'll find the trend 
links up with the fashion as well as not just the boring old repli- replica business that we used to do in the past, possibly. Well, I, can, I, for one, can say that I always look forward to the new kits coming out uh, across the board. So uh, I can completely understand what that sentiment. Vanessa, as we end off, if somebody has a passion for fashion and sports, how could they become involved in a company such as Puma? Is there anything in particular that Puma looks out for when recruiting new employees? Um, there are a few things. I mean, it's always good to have a passion for sports and fashion. Um, there are many different areas of the Puma business they can get involved in. If you look at, for my side, you have the products, you have sales, and you have the marketing. Um, good experience in sales and the industry, I would say, are very important if you can get it. So if you look at in retail, sometimes a lot of our youngsters come through from our retail stores. So they work in the stores and then they learn about the product, they learn, learn about the brand, they learn about sales, they get that experience. And then they move into the head office scenario where they'll go into different areas. They might go into sales, they might go into marketing, or they might go into product. Um, as you know, Puma, we tend to do things a little bit differently. So we're always looking for open-minded type of people, hardworking, passionate about sports, and ultimately passionate about the brand. Vanessa, Game on Magazine would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for spending some time with us as we learn more about the ins and outs of what it takes to create a new kit for for a team. So thank you so much for spending some time with us, and we look forward to the future designs that Puma will bring out. It's going to be very exciting, and thank you very much for the opportunity.